Microsoft Excel program has been used by 1.1 billion users all over the world. And like you and me, we are Excel users. But this video series have a plenty of shortcuts that makes us smart Excel users. Yes, correct. And we're gonna be like a Michael Schumacher of Excel. Room. And yes, this is the first video of this series. So just fasten your seat belts and hit the road. Oh, hit the keyboard. All your data seems so boring. I think that we need to insert a chart again. Uh, the same options. Go to insert and then chart group, choose a chart, whatever. But yes, we have a shortcut with us. Just select the data and press F11. See the magic now. So this is shortcut number one and that would be on a chart and in that we have in total two shortcuts. Just have a look guys, just select the data or you put your cursor inside the data anywhere but make sure that there should not be any kind of spaces or anything. You just need to press F11 on your keyboard. Yes guys, if you're just going to select the data or put your cursor inside the data, just hit the key function F11. Yes, boom, we have a chart in front of us and that is known as a chart sheet we are coming back to that sheet again where we have the data and the next one is an embedded chart yes embedded chart means a kind of a chart that you can put inside this worksheet again we have to select the data and there we need to press alt f1 so i'm going to press it boom we have a chart in front of us within this sheet and that would be we have this designs with us you can change that or you can even change the chart type if you want from here which is change the chart type you can go ahead and choose anything that you want and there we go so it's pretty beautiful isn't it let's move on to the next shortcut guys what the hell are you doing dude nothing just doing some calculation what happened with a calculator so is there any problem with that yes a lot why don't you use auto sum in excel and that will give you a sum of everything auto sum yes dude and that to be with a shortcut and the shortcut for auto sum is alt equals to so that's correct throw your calculator away and we have a shortcut to do sum at our fingertips and the shortcut will be alt plus equals to that is alt equal to here we go we are putting that alt and equal to boom we have the sum with us in front of us we just need to press enter and there we go we have that and this is your shortcut number two running out of worksheets in my workbook i don't know how to insert a worksheet but in excel we have a shortcut for that luckily and that is shift f11 shortcut number three dedicates to inserting a worksheet in a workbook and that has never been so easy before and the shortcut is very simple guys that is shift f11 so i'm hitting that shortcut which is shift f11 and there we go we have a sheet in front of us you can see if i keep pressing that we can insert as many worksheet as we want there is a shortcut for hyperlink in excel also and that is Control k by the way it's a universal shortcut in most of the programs linking make your worksheet looks gorgeous and it helps you to jump anywhere in the workbook or even in different workbooks so here we go this shortcut number four is dedicated to that you can see we can link anything to anything and we have this text with us we are going to click this text and it is going to take us to this pivot table worksheet how are we going to do that the shortcut is very simple that is control k so we just select this text we press control k on your keyboard and there we go we have this box in front of us and there you can see a lot of things through which we can link it with and if you want to go with this which is placed in this document i have clicked on that and then pivot table and even you can decide the cell to which you want to link it with and that is a1 right now so i'll keep that one only and i'm going to press ok and you can see this turn to blue and when i move over my cursor to this text and you can see a hand is coming and you can see this link is also showing when i click on this we are on the sheet which is pivot table so we go back and this is how we're gonna insert a hyperlink that is with control k guys today's date i need to check the calendar or what is current time i need to check the watch but these are always throw them away we have excel with us and that to be with a shortcut to put today's date the shortcut would be control semicolon and if you want to show the time that would be control shift semicolon check that out Shortcut number 5 is dedicated to date and time. If you want to put today's date, the shortcut is control semicolon. Yes. 
and then we're going to press enter and there we go we have the date in front of us if you want to put current time then it should be control shift semicolon and there we go we have the time i don't know what is happening i need to see two formulas but in excel i can see only one formula at one go in formula book. do you have any option for that i really need that please tell me yes we have an option for that and that is a shortcut and shortcut to show the formula and that will be control tilt shortcut number six and that is dedicated to see all the formula in the worksheet at one go and that would be with using control tilt yes a key just below that escape key on your keyboard and there we go everything expanded and you can see all the formulas in front of us my worksheet seems so ugly i think i need to format them but do you have any shortcut for that i bet you do and that is control one yes sleekest shortcut for formatting the data shortcut number seven it's all about opening a format cells dialog box and that to be by pressing control one yes that's very simple guys control one so i'm hitting that shortcut and there we go we have the box in front of us so now you can go ahead with any of the formatting that you want and you can format your cells beautifully do do you know how do we spell pneumonia pneumonia and <laughs> do that doesn't starts with n that starts with p but you guys don't worry about it because we have a spell check in excel itself and with a great shortcut that is f7 yes function f7 key check that out <laughs> pneumonia that was fun now the shortcut is f7 yes guys you are sitting anywhere in the worksheet you just need to hit the shortcut which is f7 that is function f7 key on your keyboard and yes you have that spell check box in front of you and you can see that there is a problem with this vegetable word and i'm going to ignore it or i'm going to change it with the suggestion that is given if i click on change there we go it will take us to the next one and yes there is a problem with this apple it is not written correctly so I can go ahead with that and this is your shortcut number 8. Is there any shortcut to put a border around the data or a table? Yes, we have that. That is control shift 7 number key on your keyboard. Check that out. Shortcut number 9 is all about assigning a border to the cell or maybe a range of cells. Just have a look guys. I'm just selecting it by pressing control shift right arrow. We have selected it and then control shift ampersand. Yes, the 7 number key on your keyboard. I'm hitting that. Yay. And there we go. We have a border. What happened? Why you seem so upset? Nothing. Some office problems. Dude, I wish that I could delete all the problems from your life. Maybe I cannot delete his problems, but yes, we have a shortcut through which we can delete row, column, and even some data. And the shortcut is Control minus. It's very easy to delete, and that would be a with a shortcut that is Control minus. Yes, if I'm standing on a particular cell right now, if I press Control minus on my keyboard, we have a box in front of us with. You can see we can even delete an entire row or a column if I choose entire row, and I'm gonna press OK, and there we go. The row is being deleted out of the worksheet. Hey, my Excel superhero! I hope that you are enjoying this video series, and that is the first video of the series. There are still two videos to come. and just wait for my second email with the link of that video till the time this is lokesh lalwani signing off